everyone, I'm Amy Nicole and welcome to my studio. Today I am going to be sharing with you three different So North Cedar sweaters that I made this year and that I absolutely love. It has been a minute since my last video. I have been taking a little bit of a break on the blog and just spending time with family over Thanksgiving and wrapping up a few personal things that I've had going on and I am so excited to be back making videos for y'all. I am hoping that in 2024, I can get back in the routine of making regular videos here in the studio because I do love sharing with you everything that I have going on. So I thought the first video back in a while, it would be fun to talk about three garments that I made from the same pattern instead of doing a video for each individual garment. I wanted to wrap them all together because I did use the same pattern and I really, really love this pattern. So this is the So North Cedar sweater. I am wearing it here and I will link the pattern below. This is a very basic sweatshirt pattern. It is cropped in length. And what drew me to this pattern originally was its cropped length. I've been really drawn to cropped tops in the last year as I tend to enjoy a higher waisted pant or legging. So to me, they look really cute with a cropped top. I just love to sort of like accentuate the waistline and I think crop tops are a very fun look on me. So I liked that. I liked that it was like boxy, but at the same time, not oversized. And the sleeves seemed to fit really well as a person who has kind of scrawny arms. I like a more fitted sleeve. It just looks like a really comfy, cozy pattern for fall and winter. And I've been leaning more towards sewing for coziness in the fall and winter than cuteness, because honestly, that's what I want to wear when it's cold and I don't go anywhere anyways. So I am trying to be better about sewing what I want to actually wear. <laughs> so the Sono sweater ended up being the pattern that I chose. I like this pattern also because it has a few different options and ways you can customize it. So my first So North Cedar sweater was this yellow one and this is a wool jersey that I had in my stash. Um, I also really love the fun detail of the the elbow patches on the back and for this one I used a black sweatshirt fleece scrap that I had in my stash and this you can't really see probably in the photo. Maybe we can zoom in a little bit, but it has some fun, colorful flex in here. I forget where I got this fabric from. I used the original fabric to make the Tasuti Hazelwood sweatshirt, which I will pop a picture of here. Another really cute, cozy pattern that I love. And I had the leftovers and I thought they would be really fun for these elbow patches. And I'll pop the link for the blog post about that Tasuti sweater because I do link where I got this fabric from originally. So I chose, there are two sleeve options for the cedar sweater. You can either do this traditional like crew cut sweatshirt or you can do the raglan style sleeve that cuts into the neck. So for my first two, I did the crew cut. I like the chunky waistbands and sleeve hem bands. And I also just really thought this would be a fun basic sweater. After I made it, I loved the fit so much that I decided to make another one when I got my hands on this super cute daisy print fabric from Blackbird Fabrics. Now, neither of these fabrics have a ton of stretch. I do, like I can get them over my head fine, 
but they're not like, which is actually fine for this pattern. This pattern does not need a ton of stretch. I mean, it has some stretch. Anyways, so I love this pattern. I scooped it up immediately whenever I saw it on Blackbird. If the fabric is still available, I don't think it is. If it is, I will link it below. And I did the crew cut again for this one. And I used the leftover fabric from this cedar sweater for the elbow patches on this cedar sweater. <laughs> So these all kind of have similar fabrics in them and sort of follow a cohesive look, which I think is kind of funny that I made three shirts like in the same colorway out of the same pattern and had the same fit, which just goes to show you how much I love it. So this one, I really, really love. So as you can see, I did end up lengthening this Daisy one a tad. It is about two inches longer than the yellow one. I really like that fit as well. And I lengthened that myself on the pattern. It, there's not a hem adjustment. I actually intended to lengthen this one and then I got ahead of myself and just whacked it off in the original length. But I do like the way it turned out. I think it's a really cute. This is a thick sweatshirt fleece that has a really cozy pile on the inside. And for this one, I thought it would be fun to do some cute appliques on the lady area. These are actually reverse appliques. So I stuck the yellow fabric on the inside, stitched the hearts, and then cut away the black on the top. And you might notice this is the same yellow as this and this. We are matching. I was debating if I was gonna do hearts. Originally, I thought it might be fun to do, to cut out the daisies from this leftover from this fabric, but they're not very uniform and the petals are like super close together. So I didn't think it would turn out. And then I thought it could be fun to do like egg yolks or something silly, but I just landed on hearts because it was like the easiest, quickest option. This is the more cropped version. I intended to lengthen it. It ended up being totally fine. It's still so cozy and I love to wear it so much. And for this one, I went with the raglan sleeve for a more like traditional sweatshirt look. And this was my first cedar sweater with this sleeve on it, which I really enjoyed. Overall, I really love this pattern. It is such a quick sew. I can cut it out and whip it up in one evening. I didn't really follow the instructions, so I cannot speak fully to whether or not they are good. I'm sure they're great. I love the fit of this pattern and I love that I was able to get multiple different looks out of the same. I'm sure I will make more of these. I think it is just an easy cozy sweatshirt. I think it would look good even longer and I love having a pattern that I know how it fits, I know how it goes together, and if I have fabric that's appropriate, I can just pull it out and whip it up and it works. And that is all for my Sew North Cedar sweater video today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would also love to know what kind of videos you like to see here. Do you like to see videos about things I've made? Do you like, I used to do a bunch of really fun, um, just week in the life videos in the studio. Did y'all like those? I can bring those back. I am just thinking about all kinds of videos that I want to make in the next year to have more fun video content for y'all here on the studio YouTube. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, happy sewing. Bye. Obviously it's black. This is a fit. Oh, I have to say about this. I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't think I followed the instructions. <laughs> <laughs>